Hello, my name is Mike Russo, and I'd like to talk to you about several reasons why health care reform should not be repealed. This graph shows the premium cost for a family of four per year with health care reform and without health care reform. If you can see that if a family is making a little over $33,000, that for a family of four, their premium cost on a yearly basis would be around $1,500. For a little over $65,000, it would be $5,000. For a family of four earning a little over $77,000, their premium cost would be $8,000. And for a family earning a little over $99,000, their premium cost for one year would be $9,000. Now, let's take a look at without uh, health care reform. And this is at any income level, it would be greater than $11,000 per year for a family of four. Now, let's look at the cost of uncompensated care, in other words, without health care reform. Today, a family of four pays over $1,000 per year to cover those without health care insurance. This is just an emergency room cost. Because health care reform brings more people into the system, the health care costs are lower. There's no discrimination based on pre-existing conditions. In 2014, the days of insurers discriminating based on pre-existing conditions will be gone for good. Americans with cancer and diabetes will get the care they need. Parents of sick children can no longer be refused coverage because of pre-existing conditions. There's a patient's bill of rights. Insurers can no longer cancel coverage without cause when you get sick. They may no longer put lifetime dollar limits on your benefits. By 2014, most annual dollar limits on benefits will be a thing of the past. There are new exchanges in 2014. New exchanges will allow millions of consumers to pool together. This will allow them to bargain for the best premiums they can get. There's better value for your health care dollar. A medical loss ratio rule was just passed as law, and this law states that 80% of your premium dollars must go to your own health care. It must not go to your insurance company for administrative costs, advertising or CEO salaries and bonuses. Premium review laws. There will be new resources to help states review and reject unreasonable premium increases. This will protect consumers against fraud, corruption, and exploitation. Preventive care. Seniors will not have to pay for cancer screening and other recommended preventive care. It will be offered at no additional cost. The donut hole. The donut hole is the coverage gap in Medicare coverage for prescription drugs. The new law begins to eliminate the gap with a 50% discount on brand name drugs in 2011. The hole will be fully phased out over the next few years. Now let's look at job losses if health care is repealed. This chart shows that there, from 2011 to 2019, the estimates of jobs that would be lost. And it was a study that was done by the Business Roundtable and Harvard Economics, uh, David Cutler. So if you take a look at this, you'll see that uh, in 2012, there is a, a, a conservative estimate would be about um, 50,000 jobs and a less conservative estimate would be around 100,000 jobs. Now if you fast forward this to 2019, you can see that there is as far as a less, uh, a more conservative estimate would be around 500,000 job, 500, jobs and a less conservative estimate would be about 800,000 jobs. Now that's an average of 350,000 to 400,000 jobs per year. And that's in total of that range of years, it could be 2.5 million to 4 million jobs lost. By 2019, when the program is fully implemented, 
There'll be tax credits for small businesses. Healthcare will save employers an estimated $3,000 per year. Employee. Healthcare will save employers an estimated $3,000 per employee per year. This will help companies be more competitive, create jobs, and help strengthen our economy. The sources uh, that I use for this presentation are based on source information from the Secretary of Health and Human Resources, Kathleen Sebelius, and Nancy Ann DeParle, Director of White House Office of Health Reform. And I would just like to take a moment to read something to you from Secretary Sebelius. She says, over the past nine months, I've traveled around the country and seen the benefits of this law firsthand. Unless we want to take coverage away from cancer patients, reduce oversight for insurance companies, raise prescription drug costs for seniors, weaken Medicare, add one trillion to the deficit, and undo dozens of other reforms that are improving health around the country, we can't afford repeal. Let's not turn back the clock. Thank you for watching this. My name is Mike Russo, and stay tuned for more information and other presentations on healthcare. Thank you.